All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about content category 6A, which is the first topic underneath foundational concept number 6, which uh, is the introduction of psychology. And foundational concepts 6 through 10 are going to be the psychology, sociology, integrated with biology portions of the new MCAT exam. So this is what all the buzz is about. This is what people are not sure, you know, what are they going to test on, how they're going to do it. And so we're, let's, let's make sure we knock this out. And um, start off with sensory processing. So sensory processing is a very, very high yield topic on the MCAT. It is, uh, and it was, you know, basically ubiquitous on the old exam, and it will be on the new one, especially because we're not only talking about sensory processing in the biology sense, but also now in psychology. So, um, yeah, let's make sure we, we, we get this down here. All right, so sensation. Let's first talk about sensation as it's... Um, related to uh, and contrasted with perception. Okay, so these two terms, a lot of people will use interchangeably, but uh, are indeed very different. So sensation, we're going to be dealing with transduction. Okay, do you guys remember from class or from, from basic biology class what, uh, what transduction means? Exactly, yeah, so action potential. So what we're doing with, with transduction is we are taking information from the outside environment and we are converting that into electrical signals in the nervous system, uh, specifically the peripheral nervous system. So anything that we can see, hear, taste, touch, smell, etc., uh, our, our sensory stimuli, will, the sensory receptors will take that information and then, like I said, through action potentials that are going to propagate Will, uh, will be converted into that electrical signal. Uh, one thing to note with sensation, though, it is the raw signal. Okay, that means it's unprocessed and unfiltered. So, uh, so just because we have sensory receptors firing and the actual potential is propagating does not mean that we're going to know even that it happened or know how to respond to it. And that's where perception comes in. So perception is dealing with the comprehending and the um, and responding and responding to these uh, these stimuli. Um, <clears throat> and this is, I guess, best illustrated in the examples of how we try to create or how we create artificial intelligences or robots. You know, we have things like motion detectors that can sense something moving, but not necessarily know how to respond to that, to that motion. Um, but then you compare that with, um, you know, any of you guys chess players here? Yeah. yeah. So you guys remember the, the machine, the robot Deep Blue, mm -hmm. uh, was the, the robot that famously beat uh, the chess player Gary Kasparov uh, back in the 90s. And it was a big deal because this is one of the bi first big leaps in robots being able to not just sense, you know, in this example, not just sense that, you know, a, a player is moving a chess piece, but to what space is he moving it to? What are his attack methods? What are his tactics? And how am I going to respond and counterattack? That's what, you know, Deep Blue the robot was thinking. And really incredible. And he, he ended up beating Gary, I think, two or maybe even three times. So it was... Uh, uh, you know, and this is one of the most famous chess players in the world, so it's a really big deal. But, uh, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're, where we're trying to make the leap, is not only with sensing it and picking up these external stimuli, but also knowing how to respond and comprehend these signals that are being sent to the central nervous system. 